and you're watching 8-bit days a week and this time we're gonna play Macross do you remember love on the PlayStation Classic let's see how it runs and yes this game is two discs that's why we got the notice there um, for those who don't know this is a 2d shooter game and it um, follows the storyline of the movie more or less so, I mean, it's not really accurate of course it features a lot of voices and cutscenes actually and uh, yeah like I said on previous videos I do enjoy a lot of um, mecha shows and hence we have one of the more famous ones, Macross. Okay, that's the title, title sequence. Let me go ahead and skip that. And some cutscenes there. Well, um, this. This scene, though, if I'm not mistaken, did not really appear in the movie. Because I remember they were already in space uh, when it started. And the Earth was already destroyed. Hmm, so maybe this follows the TV more than the movie version. Of course, it would be confusing because title itself is based on the movie all right it's been a while since I did play this oh I forgot to I forgot to just enable the show FPS and Alright Of course, there's no subtitles here, but given that it's a shooter game, you don't really need to know Japanese in order to play it. The text is, um, the Japanese text is very minimal, so you could still have fun with this game. Of course, it would be more enjoyable if you could actually understand what they're saying. Um, but, you know, if you probably saw the series, you know, you have an idea more or less. Ugh. And to reacquaint myself with the controls there. And yeah, some enemies may look like they're in the background, but they can actually hit you, and you can hit them, which is a nice touch. Um, game speed is running smoothly here. Uh, let's see. No audio or graphical glitches so far. And I always enjoyed how the sounds are really lifted from the uh, TV show. I mean, including the background music you're hearing right now. It's uh, a title track called Dogfight, I believe. 
basically their battle music. Right, just to show you that you can actually transform. But um, you're sacrificing your mobility, of course. You have unlimited missile barrages there. Uh, unfamiliarity. We also have a bomb there, by the way, which I just wasted. But it's just to show you. are about to fold so it's not quite the TV show it's not quite the movie as you can see you already with um, Max and uh, what's his guy's other name Kanzuki if I remember right as they appeared later in the series actually So if you're a fan of the series, give this game a go. Um, weapon select. I'll just stick with the defaults there. Let's do it. Sorry if you're really anticipating the cutscenes there. Yeah, I had to skip some of them. Ah, this is the intro that I remember from the movie. So now we're gonna follow the movie storyline now. to show that cutscenes are playing out nice. Yep, definitely from the movie. But I'm gonna go ahead and skip it now. Let's uh, go straight to the gameplay. Which is what we're here for. Right? We got super packs now. I mean, was it armor pack? Super pack? I can't remember what's it called. Alright, straight from the movie. The first battle scene in space. That's all automatic, by the way. If you're wondering if I controlled that part. Alright, I can move now. Yeah, they're even using the same track that's used on the movie on this particular scene except this time I'm able to control Hikaru
So as you can see, not all stages are your typical uh, left to right. And yep, as I mentioned earlier, you can actually hit enemies in the background or foreground, depending on where you are. Oh, I forgot this is. I'm supposed to get those. <laughs> And so, yeah, it um, basically plays great on the PlayStation Classic. Um, I think that's it for this video. You guys go ahead and try this out. I highly recommend it, especially if you're a Macross fan. This is Macross Do You Remember Love? And um, once again, uh, I do wonder how... How will it look like when I need to change discs already? That's later in the game. Forgot already how... Um, I know it will give you a prompt anyway, but I wish I could show it to you what would happen if I press the open button when I get to that part. Alright, you're watching 8-bit days a week. Thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video for more PlayStation games on a PlayStation Classic. Thanks for watching.